let's work on the two birdhouse blocks, the last blocks in row two of our spring showers quilt. Let's work on the birdhouses, page 39 and page 41. All of the pieces for these two blocks have been backed with feasible interfacing. We have the background fabric and the batting, and we have the pieces for the green birdhouse and the red birdhouse. I've also pulled the black leather and the cork out of our embellishment packet. Let's get started. This can be done in embroidery software or right on the machine. The steps are basically the same. The designs for both these bird houses will need to be moved down before they are stitched out. Change the hoop size if needed by going to the preferences folder on the top of the toolbar and selecting the correct size hoop. I will be using a 7 by 12. Then click the compass on the top right, then click H and this will put your whole hoop on the design screen. I will click Merge Stitch File on the top right toolbar and scroll down to the quilting bundle. I'll go to Plant 2, then Block by Block, and find the 4 by 8. I'll double click and it'll be centered in the hoop. Then I'll click Merge Stitch File, go to the Embroidery Files, and scroll down till I find the green birdhouse. Double click and it will be centered on the hoop. Select the birdhouse and use the arrows on the keyboard to move the birdhouse down until the post of the birdhouse lines up with the inside orange line. Click File, Save Stitch File As, then name the block. I will save it in the Combined Files folder and add it to my USB. I will follow the same steps for the Red Bird House, but I will use Plant 1 for the background quilting. The last thing that I will do for the red bird house is delete a placement line that will not be stitched. On the right hand side where all the individual steps are, the very last step is the line that will be deleted. Select that step and hit delete on the keyboard. This step can also just be skipped on the actual machine, but I'm going to go ahead and delete it. I will name and save this file and add it to my USB and I'll be ready to stitch the birdhouses out. On my machine I will select embroidery then go to the USB and open the combined files folder and scroll down till I find the green birdhouse. After I select embroidery I will move the design down to the bottom of my hoop to save on stabilizer.
Now I will follow the same steps for the red birdhouse. Now it's time to remove the basting stitches from around the blocks. I'll cut the blocks apart and press them. I will flip the blocks over and trim the muslin right next to the batting line. This will keep muslin out of the seams when I sew the blocks together and will create less bulk. I have a little bit of puckering on these blocks, so I'm going to press them again face down using an OESD pressing cloth. The pressing cloth helps the stitches not get flattened. I will be trimming these blocks face up, which is different from the way I've trimmed all the other blocks. I will use the small and medium rectangle orange pop rulers. Because the birdhouses were moved down on the block before I stitched them, I will position the bottom of the ruler a quarter of an inch away from the bottom of the post. The medium ruler will be the height of our block at eight and a half inches. The smaller rectangle pop ruler will be the width of the block measuring four and a half inches. I will nest the small ruler inside of the medium ruler and I will make sure the edges of the roof are equal distance from the ruler. Although you don't have to use a sewing gauge like I'm showing here, I did want to show what I'm looking for when measuring the block. Once I have everything aligned, I will cut the sides of the block. I will double check that the top and bottom of the block are aligned. The bottom of the post should be a quarter of an inch away from the inside of the ruler. Then I will cut the top and bottom of the block. Now I will take the larger ruler, line it up with the sides of the block that I cut in the first step, and extend those cuts out to cut the side completely off. You can do this with any ruler. I will follow the same steps for the green birdhouse. The reason I didn't flip the block over and use the batting as my guide to cut the block to size, like I have the other blocks in the quilt, is because the roofs of the birdhouse go right to the edge of the batting. I am a tiny bit off, so I wanted to cut the block from the front side to make sure 
that the roof is equal distance when I cut it. I'll sew the two birdhouse blocks together with a quarter inch seam. Then press the seam open using a little bit of best press and a tailor's clapper. Now it's time to finish row two by taking the toadstool block and sewing it together with the log cabin blocks with a quarter inch seam. Then I will press the seam open, use some best press and a tailor's clapper to keep the seam flat. I will sew the birdhouse blocks to the toadstool block with a quarter inch seam. I will press the seam open using best press and a tailor's clapper. And our row two is done. Our first two rows are done. There will be a quilted sashing between each of the rows but I will finish that when all the rows are complete.